नमस्कार YouTube. टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टॉक रेंचेस नाउ टॉक रेंचेस इन माई ओपिनियन एंड अनटच टूल इन आर इंडियन ऑटोमोटिव सिनारियो ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द सर्विस सेंटर्स द लोकल मैकेनिक्स आई हैव सीन एंड ऑब्जर्व दे डोंट बॉदर यूजिंग अ टॉक रेंच समान टी वन नवे वर्द हेल अ टॉक रेंच इज नाउ द टेक्स्ट बुक डेफिनेशन से इज अ टॉक रेंच इज अ प्रसिजन टूल यूज फॉर टाइटनिंग अ फास्टनर टू अ रिक्वायर्ड और डिफाइंड टॉक स्पेसिफिकेशन सो वाई इज अ टॉक रेंच इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ कंपनी स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ व्हीकल्स एंड फॉर द व्हीकल्स टू फंक्शन एफिशेंटली एवरी कॉम्पोनेंट is built to exact tolerances component on components on uh, such machines are designed to function at their peak under such predefined torque settings hence it becomes important to use a torque wrench another reason is uh, i guess some of you may have faced this is uh, our mishaps uh, you may end up uh, end up stressing the fastener to its limit and ultimately shearing it off or um, destroying the thread it it actually happened to me a few years back before i had a, a torque wrench i over tightened the banjo bolt on the uh, brake caliper side and i over tightened it to the limit and i sheared the head off the bolt head uh, came apart and the uh, rest of the bolt was stuck inside the caliper i went to the welder and got a thin rod welded to the piece that was stuck in the caliper and it came out ultimately it was a lot of work but in the end sadly i had to sh- i had to shell out 1500 rupees for a brand new caliper as the 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 welding destroyed the inlet hence i learned from my mistake almost every bolt on your vehicle has a set torque value to achieve this you cannot use a traditional socket wrench or a spanner and obviously guess work uh, won't do here here you will need a torque wrench now if you care torque wrench was invented by conrad bar in 1918 uh, this information is brought to you by professor wikipedia torque wrenches Uh, come in different types or you can say varieties there is the traditional beam type torque wrench and then there is the click type torque wrench like these two and then there is a uh, high end the high end version that is the digital torque wrench there are other types of torque wrenches too there are some more but uh, these three types are the most common now torque value is presented in three common units of measurement uh, namely foot pound ft lbs or lbs ft pound foot what do you want to call uh, newton meter nm which is i think the universally accepted uh, unit and then there is kilogram meter or kilogram centimeter i, I think it's kilogram meter it is act, it is possible to convert between these measurement systems Uh, this is a Tapiria TWR25. This is a click type uh, mechanical torque wrench. This has a three-eighth head. It has a torque range of uh, uh, I'll mention all the three measurement: five to twenty-five foot-pound, five to thirty-five foot-pound, and uh, newton meter. I'm sorry, five to thirty-five newton meter, and point uh, five to three point five kgm kilogram meter. see this is the foot pound this is the kgm this is the newton meter by the way torque wrenches come in different torque ranges like i just showed you a single torque wrench cannot uh, cover the complete spectrum obviously i bought this one uh, offline this tapiria offline for 1800 1900 rupees i don't remember somewhere i think 1800 yeah Tapiria actually offers three types of torque wrenches namely the uh, there is a standard one uh, that has a fixed head then there's this 
uh, ratcheting one. Then there's a professional series. I haven't uh, seen that. I found the ratchet type uh, suitable for me. You can also opt for the for the standard type, the basic one, which has a fixed head. And that will save you some money. And I think professional series is overkill for domestic use. Now this here is a Talkmaster TM 100R. This is also an Indian brand. I think it's it's a Punjab based company. Has a half inch ratcheting drive. The range is 2200 uh, pound feet, foot pound, 25 to 35 Newton meter, 3 to 14 uh, kilogram meter, and 250 to 1200 inch pound. This one is a this one is slightly premium to uh, say premium uh, compared to this Taparia or the Taparia TWR100 if you want a fair comparison. It has a nice brushed satin finish. Also has a plastic grip. Both these wrench, wrenches function identically and have the same internals. Both have these uh, partly exposed uh, arm and a pawl. Now, the fun part, how to use a torque wrench? And frankly, it's very easy as I'll be uh, demonstrating. First step is knowing the torque value. You should know the torque value of the particular fastener you wish to torque. Now, where can you get that? The answer is service manuals. You see, this is the service manual of, a, of uh, the Bajaj Pulsar 180 UG3 and here mentioned are the torque values. See, all the torque values are mentioned. The torque values are in kgm, kilogram meter. Uh, the clutch nut, the cylinder head cover bolts, the uh, rotor mounting bolt, etc. Also included in the literature are uh, parts catalog, troubleshooting guide, and everything you need to service your vehicle. By the way, this manual will also work for uh, the UG4 and the newer model with the uh, which has a rear disc. I have checked with the service center, and the contact contents are almost the same. For instance. I want to tighten the front axle nut. The torque sp uh, specification given is 4.425 4 kgm. I'll take a 5 kgm. Now here I cannot use my uh, tapari torque wrench because this has a range from uh, 0.5 kgm to 3.5 kgm and I need 5 kgm. So here I'll be using the torque master. It has a range of uh, 3 kgm to 14 kgm. Now, to set the torque value to 5 kgm, first we have to locate the value on the shaft. So this is pound feet, newton meter, kgm and pound inch. So you need 5 kgm. So this is the kgm chart range. After you have located the value, I need 5. See, this is 3, 4, uh, 5 and 6. It's not written here, but that's the median. Now pull out this Tommy bar. It will help you turn the uh, adjustment sleeve. Now, rotate it clockwise. You will notice the adjustment sleeve is moving up. Now, we have reached 5. So after that, it's 5.5 and then 6 and then beyond. Now, push in the Tommy bar and that's it. Your torque wrench is ready to be used. It's set to 5 kgm. Okay, grab the appropriate socket. In this case, uh, a 22 mm half inch. This torque wrench has a push through drive. Uh, this is provided so that you can reverse the application. Now, all you have to do is just like you do with the regular ratchet push in the socket and observe the direction uh, specified on the shaft. Make sure you don't use it the opposite way uh, because that may uh, damage the internals. Now here I am using the 22M socket to tighten the 
axle nut to 5 kgm as mentioned in the manual I am pushing the torque wrench downwards and I am holding the uh, wrench from the sh uh, sleeve not from the shaft so the moment you hear a click so the click means that you have to stop you have reached your desired torque specification if you'll notice here uh, you can observe a slight flex on the on the arm just before the wrench clicks so that's how a mechanical torque wrench works I'll demonstrate the same using uh, the Tapadia TWR25 so here I am talking the caliper mounting uh, bolts to 2.5 kgm uh, the same procedure as before I'm using a 12m socket here so with a ratcheting torque wrench you really can't push it the other way and damage the internal because it just slips that's how uh, ratchet works Uh, please ignore the background noises um, it's an epidemic in India so here I am talking the shock absorber mounting uh, bolt to 4 kgm as mentioned in, as specified in the manual so the same procedure here okay now after you are done always make sure you and this is very important always make sure that you uh, wind the adjustment adjustment sleeve to the lowest uh, position lowest value and there's a spring inside and it will warp out of alignment uh, due to stress if you store it uh, loaded to a value and then you will mess up the calibration now there are some do's and don'ts with uh, using torque wrenches don't use it as a breaker bar because second don't use this as an everyday uh, wrench you will wear out the internals in no time and remember these are precision tools third treat it nice don't absolutely don't drop it again it's a precision tool store it in a provided case or store somewhere safe in my case Tapadia wasn't uh, kind enough they just provided a flimsy cardboard box Talk master did provide a decent case fourth now this is applicable to only a certain type of uh, torque wrenches which has the arm and the pole or certain uh, internals or components exposed so you want to avoid getting dirt and in fact keep your torque wrenches clean fifth uh, don't use these universal extensions or these swivelless extensions because it's an established fact that that this will throw off the value there is some controversy with uh, using extensions some say you can uh, some advise you to not there is also a point that uh, where it is advised that you use thicker extensions um, if usage is required so here I'll have to use an extension to uh, prevent damaging the tank I'm using a 10 inch extension sixth and I've mentioned this uh, previously after using make sure you wind the adjustment sleeve to the lowest position to avoid messing with the calibration now I have used the word calibration a lot it is required and advice that you get your torque wrenches calibrated after a specific period or a period specified by the manufacturer your torque wrench comes calibrated when you buy it new uh, this Tapadia is about uh, yeah, a year old and I haven't got it calibrated even once it is advised that you should get your torque wrench calibrated once every six months I've also read it somewhere that you should service your torque wrench after uh, 2500 repetitions in my case I don't think I have surpassed that or the more convincing fact that uh, <laughs> I am exceptionally lazy to get your wrench calibrated you can contact the manufacturer for the same uh, with every uh, torque wrench you get 
certificate of calibration like these you can also shoot them an email asking the same way can you get the your talk range calibrated and then there are other ways where you can calibrate your range at home i'll elaborate in a that in a future video now where should you get your talk range from online or offline i'll suggest offline you should first check with your local tool shops and uh, by local tool shops i mean uh, reputed tool shops who sell uh, branded tools and all uh, but if you prefer buying online i found industrybuying.com has a, a decent inventory of talk wrenches like they have this tapadia the and the talk master they have bretool grifold macmaster i think talk master macmaster the same and these are all indian brands if you have that kind of money to spare uh, i suggest you check out amazon.in uh, they have the considerably expensive uh, tecton or uh, tecton uh, range of talk wrenches uh, keep in mind you will have to wait to get your hands on as it will be a it will be directly imported from the us of a also before buying one uh, know the talk range you will be working with Uh, don't just blindly buy a uh, talk range with which has a range way over what is required and i think that's common sense now i shall wrap this video quickly uh, i know talk ranges are expensive but again it's an investment like uh, like every other tool is and if you are starting new i'll suggest you first get a basic but branded a branded one you get a basic uh, talk range it will work just fine believe me you will save yourself from horrors if you use one and trust me on this i've been there and additionally you will be at peace knowing that your vehicle is performing at its best okay as always links to everything mentioned in the in this video is in the description box below i really enjoyed discussing such an important topic and i hope you learned something new i helped you in a way and uh, thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more namaskar no,